Okay, I'm whittling here, just got a piece of scrap wood. And what I'm doing is I'm making a, a little choker like this for her up here. Okay? So I'm just whittling down a piece of scrap wood. To get it big enough for what I want. that and then I get my This will give me, using this tool here, it will give me a, a round shape. As you can see, it's starting to form. I'm cutting across grain. I don't have to worry about splitting or anything. Good. Too fast for you? Okay. Now I'm going to stop because I, you know, I can't handle this little piece as, if it was by itself as easy as I can handle it by just leaving this on here. And I'm going to have to drill me a hole right in the center there to attach that. Okay? And I'm going to use an eighth inch drill. And like before, I don't want to use a drill, but I want to use an eighth inch Dremel bit because, it, again, like we did here, that Dremel bit's not going to split that wood as it would if I used a drill. Okay, so I'm going to run over, get my Dremel, and do that. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> All right. I cut it free. Well, before I uh, cut it free, from here. I went over in my Dremel, got my Dremel, and I drilled me a hole with that Dremel bit like we did when we did the uh, decoration up here on her chest. So it wouldn't split, because if you tried to use a drill like this here, believe me, it would be difficult. So anyway, this is all all ready. Now we just have to position it up here on her. Just put it in the center, center there, like that. Like that. Make a mark. Like that. Actually, I'm going to shave this off. Cutting this off flat will give the disc a little more stable <laughs> purchase to sit on there. Okay. So 
so I need me a hole right there. And again, I think I'm going to go do that with that Dremel because I just don't want anything bad happening, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, got my hole up there, got my hole there. Now I need me a piece of uh, one eighth inch dowel. break want that to protrude there just a little bit like that test that out again see I didn't want it to go into that hole there and that looks good so now what I'm going to do is lay that down Get me some super glue there. this glue fingers are already sticking together that's all it needs and set that aside somewhere where I'm not going to lose it because I'm constantly using these little details things together. So, where are we now? Okay, what I've done down here on the bottom, I've drawn a little design on there, and how I did that was I laid it out on paper so I make sure I get everything even the way it's supposed to be. And by starting here, and laying it around there. One, another thing I did was, uh, just my little scribe here. Was I took my scribe to the bottom of the skirt to where I could lay this on there. Where was it? Right there. To lay this on there. <laughs> I'm sorry. To top the top of the thing. There we go. So it was even across there and then I you know, held that down and just drew my line and then came back and sketched in the upper part like that. And that'll be the decoration going all the way around. Okay? That way everything's even. And this strip was is going to be beaded. A beaded strip. 
So what we have to do is we'll do this in the next video is I have to uh, carve around that so we can make it look like it's beaded. Okay, and then we'll do the fringe on the bottom part of the dress and that'll be all done. So I think in the limited time we have here now we will work on this head just a little bit. Now, Native Americans have a high cheekbone. So we want to get that established. Just checking, you know, to make sure everything's equal. Just cutting my ear out there a little. Forget this area. I don't want that saw mark to show. Get 
So let's just draw, draw a line right down through the center here. There's the nose, and there are the eyes. So we'll make a cut right here. Now one thing I've noticed with my carving, and I don't know if you're all, if this happens to you. Let's work this a little. Is when I carve, Things, things seem to go one way. My faces, everything always leans to one direction. This way. This side's thicker than this side over here. That's just the way my mind works. It's not, it's not that I purposely intend to do that. It just happens because that's the way I guess I see things. I try to correct it uh, before I'm finished carving the figure, but you know it always worries me when I'm carving it that after I look at it a while I can see that I'm I'm heading in that direction again. So I have to constantly go back and fiddle with the carving to get away from that happening. So I think we're going to stop here because we're getting 
pretty close to it being long. But you can see the face now. It's there. And with a straight blade like that, every time you make a you're trying to make a straight cut on a curved surface, you always end up with these little things. That's why I switch switch blades every once in a while. So let's just put that on there. Let's get our little doodad here. Glue is dry now. Put that on there. Like that. Put her head back on there. Give her a feather. She's going to look pretty nice, I think. Feather's not going to be that big, I don't think. That's another thing that I do is. Uh, as I walk around the property, I'm always picking up feathers because uh, they're all different shapes. And when I'm making feathers, I look over there and I'll grab a feather out and I'll try to duplicate it. That's a nice one there. These are generally from owls that live up in the woods here around our house, the old barred owls. So let me pull that off of there again because I will lose it if I don't put it. Somewhere. So that's going to do it for this time, and then the next time we'll continue on that face. And probably, if I devote the time to whole time to it, we should be able to pretty well finish that face. So until then, I'll talk to you later.